welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Natasha from Yarn Over Natasha and my chain just went down a little bit. <laughs> but um, in today's video, I'm going to show you what I did to make my farmland pattern in Velvet Yarn. Velvet Yarn is called Kismet Plush. It is a new Velvet Yarn launched by Kismet Yarns and the colors that I used for this farmland 08 that is the cream that's the cream for the body or for the wool and then I use color 20 for the body the face and the legs is color 20 the body is color 8 my farm lamp pattern the original pattern you have to use bobble stitches or puff stitches for the body but we all know that bobble and puff stitches are yarn eaters so you will be flying through yarn and another thing is they are very bulky I don't like that extreme bulkiness that it gives when you're using especially when you're using chenille yarn it's fine with cotton or acrylic but when it comes to using it for plush yarn like this or plush pattern like this it can get bulky instead of using the pop or the bobble stitch I'm using two double crochet together stitch Means you'd have two double crochets within one stitch so you don't complete the double crochet you do it halfway and in the next one but in this tutorial I'm going to show you how I did that this farm lamb is about when I finished it it's about 45 centimeters tall so I only used one skin for the for the bobbles for this wool shape but I use one skin and like literally I think about 10 grams of another skin to finish the arms and the legs and the face so what you can do if you only have the two skins and you don't have an extra skin for the body is to take off rows from the arms and the legs so the arms and legs are pretty long because it is a rag doll shape toy what you can do to save on some yarn so you don't use more than one skin is to take off four rounds of each of the limbs so it's going to skip that last four rounds of the legs and go onto the body straight onto the body then you will only be using one skin of each so if you are limited on the yarn or you don't have only have one skin of each then you can just shorten the legs and the arms a little bit it will be a little bit shorter but not that much it's about about three about that you will be missing out a piece of that the arms and legs will still be long enough for you to actually have the rag doll shape but then you will be using less yarn this is the same that goes for the bubble stitches I'm going to show you how I made the body but I'm going to use a cotton yarn so that you can actually see the stitches I'm not going to use the velvet yarn I'm going to use the cotton yarn then you can see the stitches and how I do the two double crochets together I make this pattern and you do have this pattern because this pattern is available on my Etsy shop then you can just adjust it by, by changing the puff or the bobble stitch to the two double crochets together when you're using a fluffy yarn like this just to talk a little bit more about this yarn this is the Kismet Velvet Plush yarn there is 48 colors currently available in this yarn I get my yarn from the wool shop and if you want to purchase your own yarn you can just go over to their website you can use my code yarn over for a 5% discount and then you can just purchase your yarn from there and get a little bit of a discount using my code so if you are not from South Africa and you're international you can just contact the wool shop they do have options for international shipping so I'm just using the Kismet 5050 for here in this tutorial. You can also find this yarn at the wool shop. So this is the 50% cotton, 50% acrylic. So what you're going to do to create the two double crochet together is simply just yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and now instead of completing that double crochet stitch you're going to yarn over again you're going to insert your hook once again into that stitch you're going to pull up a loop you're going to pull through all of the loops on your hook and then you're going to go and make a single crochet next to it and now we're going to repeat it you're going to yarn over insert your hook into the stitch pull up a loop pull through two loops yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through all four loops on your stitch on your hook 
then you're going to single crochet in the next stitch and you're going to repeat that. So here you can see it actually doesn't really stand out that much because this is now a double crochet and it's a cotton yarn so you can't really see you can see there's a little bit of a texture but not that much but when you're going to use it with your velvet yarn you will see it makes a bigger bobble because the velvet yarn is much thicker so now you can still have this texture of the bobble stitches but you're now just using less yarn that was it for this tutorial super short sweet just wanted to show you what I did to make my farm lamb in velvet yarn. The link to my farm lamb pattern is below in this video. And you can go find it there on my Etsy shop, Ralvery, or if you're from South Africa and you want to purchase this pattern, there is a link below as well for my South African website where you can get the pattern.